Greetings all, Last Outrider here with the next video in Who Are the Black Legion? The Scouring of Elysia. The Fifth Black Crusade. Included amongst its many atrocities, the Scouring of the Elysia Sector. Culminating in the destruction of the ancient imperial city of Kasser Lutian. The War Master purposefully fomented invasions on a dozen worlds within the sector, entrusting the destruction of cities, shrines, and temples to his warlords, whilst using his fleet to keep the Imperial Navy engaged in deep void skirmishes. It was Abaddon's intention to create a sector-wide conflict that would provoke a massive response from the Imperium and draw in chapters of the Adeptus Astarte. His plans set in motion, the War Master led the bulk of his Black Legion to the city of Kasser Lutian on Terence, burning the great city to the ground and enslaving its people. When the Warhawks and Venerator's Space Marines arrived on the Tarrant in chapter strength, they made an immediate assault upon Kasser Lutian. At that same moment, Abaddon ordered the mass sacrifice of 10 million citizens. Their blood funneled via the city's great canals into a vast Lake of Gore. Above the lake, the warp opened, and Doombreed, the greatest of all of Korn's demon princes, stepped into reality and howled in triumph. Abaddon had made a dark pact with Doombreed promising it the skulls of an entire chapter of Space Marines in return for its service. With thousands of blood letters pouring forth from the Lake of Blood, Doombreed waded into the ranks of the Warhawks and Venerators. The Black Legion then sprang their own trap, and from prepared positions across the city, they opened fire on the Loyalists, blocking their retreat. Though they fought without fear or respite, both chapters fell that day. Their warriors, mutilated and mutated by the demon hosts and their gene seed, lost forever to the Imperium. Dracarth's Folly When Abaddon ascended to command the sons of Horus, not every warrior of the Legion swore allegiance to him. Many of the traitors clung to their worship of Horus as a god, believing that he would one day return to lead them and punish those who had forsaken their oaths. Others considered the heresy to be the end of their subservience to gods and masters. The emperor and their primarch were the last overlords they would ever bow down to, and they saw no reason to make an exception for Abaddon. Most of these renegades were gradually lost to the warp, disappearing into the eye and vanishing from record though some prospered and would return to be a thorn in the side of the War Master. One of these splinter war bands was the Sons of the Eye, led by Drakarths, the Sightless. A former battle brother of Abaddon, Drakarth had been one of Horus's captains, escaping in the chaos after Malium fell. Abaddon had heard whispers of Drakarth's escape 
and treachery from his cabal of sorcerers, who also claimed that an old ally would one day rise to subvert the Black Legion, twisting its loyalty with the memory of the dead Primarch. So, under the sign of truce, Abaddon made a pact with the Sons of the Eye and allied with them during the Sixth Black Crusade. The Moor Master wanted to make an example of the Sons of the Eye, a dire warning to any that would consider challenging his power. But he needed to set the stage for his vengeance just right, so that none would doubt ever again his resolve. Abaddon besieged the Ford's world of Arkreach, offering Draketh uh, and his Sons of the Eye an equal share of plunder. For months, the legions fought side by side against the defenses of the Adeptus Mechanicus, bombarding their great cities from space. Finally, the traitors stood triumphant in the smoldering ruins of the great manufactorums dead littering the ground. As Drakarth extended his hand in greeting, Abaddon grasped it with his own, only to thrust his talon into the space marine's gut. Drakarth lived long enough to see the sons of the eye bow to Abaddon before the war master tore out his skull and spine. The Ghost War. The Seventh Black Crusade began when the Black Legion fleet slipped out of the Eye of Terror undetected and fell covertly upon the worlds of the Imperium. Whole planets were lost before the Emperor's armies could muster the forces to repel the traitor legions. Abaddon proved himself a masterful tactician and a match for the combined Imperial commanders of the battle fleet Obscurus, repeatedly outmaneuvering their scouts and confounding their attempts to bring him to battle. Whilst the Imperium tried to find and defeat Abaddon's fleet, his Black Legion laid waste to Imperial settlements and systems. In the volcanic depths, of the Harness Collective, the Traitor Legions broke the great steam seals and left millions to die screaming as scalding clouds engulfed their cities. On the storm-tossed oceans of Gyro, Traitor Legion warbands sunk the silt mining platforms and fed their workers to rift sharks. Black Legionnaires assaulted the Adeptus Mechanicus void stations of Nice, deep within the Majorium Nebula. The traitors ransacked the station's stores, taking ancient Eldar artifacts recovered by the Adeptus Mechanicus. When Imperial forces arrived, they discovered the Black Legion gone and the station decorated with the corpses of tech priests and servitors. Whilst the Ghost War would rage for many years before the traitor legions retreated back to the Eye of Terror, a single engagement stands out amongst the long list of bloody deeds. On the world of Makan, the Black Legion and its allies faced a company of blood angels. The Legion had ravaged the world, putting its remote dust mill towns to the torch and tearing apart the Grand Cathedral of Radiance, raised to honor the might of the Emperor. 
arriving in time to halt the escape of the traitors, the sons of Sanguinius set up defensive positions around the Black Legion landing zone in an attempt to cut them off from their fleet. Abaddon personally led a war band of the Black Legion's corn berserkers in a charge against the Blood Angels, Devastator's positions. Whilst scores of berserkers were obliterated by Laz Cannon and Plasma Cannon fire, the survivors fell upon the Blood Angels. In a sickening parody of Horus's slaying of Sanguinius, Abaddon engaged the Blood Angels' company commander, Archreon, in single combat. In front of the remaining loyalists, the despoiler tore Archreon apart, forcing the space marines into retreat before the fury of his warband and claiming their dead as his own. Abaddon would later use the Blood Angel's precious gene seed in a pact with Fabius Bile to create new traitor space marines birthed from the remains of his foes. So much for Failbadan. You can remind people of all these stories. Until next time! Bye.